Well, hey, good morning, everyone. Kay here on the homestead. Welcome back on 9-11, 2023. It's been 22 years since the tragic day that changed our lives forever. From the you know, the aftermath, the death, the destruction, the loss of freedoms, it's pretty incredible when you think back about it. Um, ten days earlier, in 2001, my family was in New York for the U.S. Open. My son Walker was an aspiring tennis player, and my family, we went to the U.S. Open a few times when he was growing up, and that was one of those times, so uh, my husband and I lived in Manhattan for seven years before I went out to L.A. to pursue acting out there. And then uh, he came out, but uh, we were back, you know, we were back in New York for the U.S. Open in 2001. And so we were seeing my, one of my oldest, dearest friends, Mary, and her daughter, Anna. And I, my recollection is that it was a spontaneous decision to go to the top of the towers. I, I, th I think we were, I have this recollection that we were sitting down in the park down in lower Manhattan visiting and, you know, when, when you live in Manhattan, you're not, you don't act like a tourist, you don't do all the touristy things, uh, although I did get, I did do a couple of things. I did take the boater with, with Walker. Uh, met my other friend Mary. I had two Marys in New York, and took the other. Uh, the other Mary uh, took us on a, you know, a boat cruise around the island. But there was this loudspeaker going the whole time, and it was just like, I just wanted to peacefully watch, you know. Anyway, so generally avoid touristy things. But we said, hey, we're here. There are the World Trade Towers, and let's go up there, and we did. And it was a beautiful sunny day, and we took pictures from up there. And I used to be able to put my hand right on, that was a negative, of course, that was before digital. And so I used to be able to put my hand right on that snapshot and the negative kept it right in a certain drawer in my office in LA, but since I moved, I, I have not organized my office and my photos, and that's something I really hope to do this winter. It's not the kind of thing that <laughs> that I could really share on, on videos because um, it's so tedious, but I really, you know, it's on my bucket list. My bucket list, you know, some people have all these bucket lists of of jumping out of airplanes. That's usually when you, you turn 50, you do that. If you, if, if you miss that window, you, you, you probably won't do it after that, if you've never done it. And I haven't, so I won't. But, <laughs> uh, you know, they have these trips and, you know, and all of that. I really wanted to do a cruise to Alaska, the Alaskan cruise through, you know, um, two or three years ago, but that never materialized. So my bucket list now is the most basic of things, which is getting my life simpler and more organized. My life will be simpler if it's more organized because then I can put my hand right on what I need and I need to get rid of a lot of things too. So because in this world as it's changing the value young people are not interested in in they're not sentimental i am the biggest 
most sentimental person alive probably and you know I have all my mother's things and, and even my ex my mother-in-law <laughs> I even have things she made I have all the things I've made all the clothes I made in New York when I when I wore a size eight <laughs> um, so anyway 9-11 uh, changed everything and we didn't really realize it. We were we got uh, our country got caught up in this war, and you know, if you if you've got two brain cells firing nowadays, I mean, you you kind of know how all of that transpired and why, and who was responsible and who was behind it and all of that. It wasn't as it wasn't as simple as the story they told us, and uh, but at the time, you know. Uh, we immediately got into war, and um, I, I, I don't even know why 22 years have gone by and we still don't have all the answers, but there's a lot of speculation and a lot of uh, proofs online talking about what happened that day and what led up to all of that happening. So. I encourage you to do your own research. A lot of other good researchers have done that work for you, so it's pretty easy to find. Uh, but you know, everything changed that day, and I think a lot of us, you know, we got we 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 managed to get past the, that war being over, and then then there was Afghanistan, and then it, it, it's just. So many wars, you know, the industrial, uh, military industrial complex has got to keep that, that war machine going because so many people make so much money from that. And it doesn't help the American people at all. So these are the thoughts that are on my mind today. Let me know what you think, you know. Um, if, you, if you think very clearly about it, be careful what you write. Um, because this platform is going to be increasingly uh, holding back what they allow people to say. So we have to be careful. But a lot of innocent people died that day. Over 3,000. Um, I remember, you know, we had just been to the top, and I remember um, that morning I was taking my car in, I had a Volvo wagon, and I was taking my car in for service at the Volvo dealership in Santa Monica. My son Walker had let's see, this was 2001, so he was 11. So he was getting serious because you, you know, if you're going to be a serious athlete, you've got to kind of commit to that sport by 12. And so at this point he had started, of course it's SoCal, so it's, you know, most of the year you can practice outside. And so he had started practicing before school. And um, my husband had taken him over to the park early to hit. And um, I had my younger son with me. And then I literally heard this on the radio. I don't, I don't even listen to the radio anymore, but I, I heard this on the radio as I was dry, I was going to stop by the park, I don't know, give them some food or I don't remember. Or, or maybe I heard it on the radio and I drove there and I told them because, you know, they were playing. They wouldn't have known. And, and then I, I, I was just, I was in shock. And, but I, you know, because we didn't know what had happened. 
and I drove on to the car dealership, you know, just on autopilot, I guess, and and I pulled in there, and, and I mean, I walked in there, and they have a little room where you, where they had, usually had coffee and donuts and a TV, and I walked in, and I watched, wow, I watched the other tower go down. And I was just, or just in shock, and, um, and and of course then that's when they started um, putting on the news that we'd been attacked and all of that. So, so like I said, that that uh, that event changed everything, and we really haven't recovered. You know, so let's see. I think I saw this this morning. Um, Doug and Stacy posted something on the community page, and it, it was a quote by Thomas Jefferson, and it said something about when a government. Um, doesn't follow the Constitution. What did it say? I can't remember exactly. But I think our founding fathers would be stunned to see all that's happened and how much of it we've just accepted and not questioned. And, um, I guess I was always one to question a little bit, you know, I, I, I wasn't just going to do what I was told, and I, I said, well, wait, 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 why, why do I need to do that, you know, I mean, I, yes, I was, I was, I was a good kid, and I, and I did what my father told me to do, but, um, and my mother, but, um, you know, at, cert, at a certain point, you start going, well, wait, wait a minute, you know, okay. So I didn't go the, the, the same route my siblings went, and I wanted to do my own thing, do it differently, and, and for better or worse, that's what I did. But it's made me question, a lot of things have made me question, and I, and I you know, once you start swallowing that red pill, you start, you start looking into some of these things that were once just passed off as Well, they are conspiracies. It's a conspiracy to to undo our constitution and and to um, destroy the great nation that we once had. So I think we have to be very vigilant. Just like we have to be vigilant in the garden, we have to be observant and vigilant in the garden, or the squash bugs will take over, and the assassin bugs right behind them. The other day, I, I was pulling off an Amish paste tomato and there were like six assassin bugs on the one tomato. But I just blew them off and <laughs> took the tomato. I didn't even bother trying to kill them because it's just too late, you know. Anyway, I want to take a little, uh, take you on a little tour around the garden and show you what's uh, been happening since I've been hurt. I haven't been able to do anything really. And I'm just relying on Randy to come once or twice a week, and then Gina helped a lot when she was here. She harvested, turned the water on and off, and and she got started on re rebooting some of the raised beds. But all that work still needs to be done. I just can't be on my leg too too much. I just want it to heal and heal well and heal fast, so I can get back to being active. So thanks for listening to my thoughts. Let me know what you think. I mean, 22 years, um, but it's still, I mean, we can just not think about it, but if you think about it, it 
and not only the people that died that day, that literally jumped out of windows and buried alive in that coming down of the building, buildings, all three buildings. A lot of people forget about Building 7, but that was, that was definitely uh, demolished. So, um, I mean, even the, the owner said so. Oh, we have to tear it down because it's on fire. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, let me know what you think. And let's just be mindful not only, not only of the people that perished that day, including first responders, but all the first responders that developed cancer from all of those toxic metals and, and plastics and chemicals that, you know, went up in smoke over a period of time. They, they have gotten sick and died or suffered, still suffering, you know. So let's, let's just be thinking of all those folks today and God bless you and let's just be so grateful. I'm so grateful I was there 10 days before. <laughs> um, of course they did this early in the morning when not the full staff and it was mostly just employees in their offices. I don't think the tourists hadn't even been allowed up yet so it was just uh, workers, trusting workers. God bless you. See you in the next video. Which will be, we're going to take a little tour around right now on the four-wheeler.